Hello all, Onigato here for Oni in the Garden, and we're going to start over on the beans. So, although my last video didn't have audio, I have no idea what happened. The, what, a couple of days before I made that video, we got snow. And, uh, well, it definitely did a number on this one over here. Uh, we had everything covered up pretty well. Uh, there's a reason why the potatoes are up on the porch. It made it easier to cover them. But the, uh, this little bean here wasn't quite completely covered. And you can see it suffered for it. Temperatures came back up afterwards, of course, because it's central Texas and they're never going to be that cold. So that one, I pulled off a couple more uh, beans from it yesterday. They weren't much. They weren't much there, but it was tasty enough. And back here, oops, you can see some of these. Just looking a little bit on the ratty side. They've been chewed by something, but not all of them. And the really important ones, which are. This bad boy right here. There we are. Yeah, the skin is leathery. And I can feel the individual beans inside. So let's go ahead and grab the other one that's gone yellow. There we go. And I'm gonna leave the rest of the beans on there. I'll just harvest the rest off the other plants, just just normal. And I'll show you what the, I'll show you, get to take a couple of pictures of that and show you what it looks like at the end of the video. Uh, the strawberries aren't doing too badly. You can see there's a little bit of uh, cold scorching, but not terrible. Potatoes doing quite nicely. Other strawberry. The uh, bell peppers that I had planted out never came up. So what I've done is uh, we had bell pepper in one of our dishes not too long ago. And I've taken all of the seeds from that. And on the back side, all up and down here, I planted bell peppers. So every single seed from that entire bell pepper is now in that half. The front half is from, I believe it was a jalapeno. Um, it was a while ago that we had that, just to let everything dry out a little bit. So I can't really remember. Uh, some failed experiments from inside are now in here. So, we'll see if anything comes up. If not, eh, whatever. If it does, huzzah! Okay, I talked about it last time, but you didn't hear me. Pulled the basil out of here. Um, it basically froze. So, you know, it, the, the leaves went a lovely shade of purple, which was actually kind of pretty, but meant it wasn't photosynthesizing, and it was pretty much dead. Uh, raised bed, we've been getting a lot of rain, so everything looks nice and moist, which is good. Still have a little bit of that aloe that I pulled out weeks ago, hanging around, sort of alive. <laughs> wow. The apple. Eh, it's doing its thing. Oh, hey, looky there. Ladybug trying to hide from the worst of the chill. I wish you the best of luck there. Alright. The begonias are dying back. At least the ends are. But they did this a lot harder last year as well. When it got really, really cold. The mums are neighbors. They're actually flowering up, which is kind of neat. 
So that's kind of cool. Uh, the aloes that I specifically tried to save, they're buried underneath the leaf mold, but enough of it's sticking out that it's gonna be able to do fungal photosynthesis and, you know, survive. Other than that, uh, the hay, the straw bales that are in the back, still haven't really gotten around to do anything with them yet. Um, I don't have any dirt to put on top of it. So just like in here, nothing's moving. But yeah, it's going along. We're looking at, um, as I record this, we're a couple of days away from Christmas. Uh, today is actually Thursday before Christmas. And yeah, uh, looks like we're gonna be getting a hard freeze tomorrow night again. So we'll be covering this all up. Um, we just use a giant, a big old sheet over the top of, well, I specifically put this structure here in just so that we have something to drape over, you know, to drape the, 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 uh, the sheet over so that it'll actually help provide a air bubble and keep things warm. But, uh, we should be good. Talk to y'all next time.